Hey guys, today I want to talk about baby steps four and five and give a status update on where I am and a few other thoughts outside of my status update that I think are pretty important to consider when you're talking about retirement and when you're talking about college savings. Before I dig into that though, I want to say thank you for clicking on my video. My name is Tina and I always ask you to picture what financial freedom looks like to you because I genuinely believe, and I will also say that people much smarter than me believe this too, that when you have a vision for your future, you can set plans and you can set goals that will get you to that vision and get you there a heck of a lot faster than you probably ever imagined. I love to talk about this stuff and especially financial independence. So if that's something you're interested in, please click the subscribe button and become a part of my YouTube family so I can grow this channel. And if you're returning, thank you so much. I genuinely appreciate it. In the Dave Ramsey program, there are baby steps four, five, well, really there's baby steps one through seven. Seven being that you have now accomplished all your financial goals and you are wealthy to the point where you can live and give like nobody else. Before you get to baby step seven though, you've got those six other steps. And I really am at the point now where I focus on baby steps four, five, and six. But six is off the table for me too, and I've done several videos on that because I am mortgage free. And I will tell you that probably my most important video on being mortgage free is the one where I talk about the truth of being mortgage free and how it didn't change my life quite as much as I hoped and wished it would. I will tell you that while it didn't change my life in every way that I thought it would, I absolutely love being mortgage free. It has given me a tremendous amount of flexibility in my budget and I really wish it for everyone. I, if I could tell people to go balls to the wall on paying off their mortgage, I will. With When it comes to baby step five, we have about $10,000 saved for each child. So we created the 529 accounts and we began investing in them about three years ago, but we've sort of taken a two year hiatus on that. The reason being that we stopped contributing to those accounts when we made the decision to move from Colorado to Missouri, which I have a video about, I'll link it above, uh, but also because once we got here, we then sat on this mortgage for the duplex for a while and we wanted to start put an extra money toward that, which meant that we couldn't, you know, what is this topic of focus? I bring it up all the time. We wanted to focus on getting that mortgage paid off. And so in the interim, we discontinued paying to the 529 accounts. Now, some people might argue that that's bananas, but let me tell you why I'm starting to question the whole idea of a 529 account. So for those of you who aren't familiar, a 529 account is a college investment savings account. You can establish that you, you as the person who are creating the account are the owner of the money, but you can associate a benefit beneficiary to that account. You can only have one beneficiary, but you can change that beneficiary in time. The value of it is that as you invest money into this account, it will grow and the income that you earn on the investment is not taxed. It's tax free. So long as, so long as, you use that money for college tuition. There's the snag, right? What if your kid doesn't want to go to college? Then what happens? Well, to take that money for a non-college, you know, distribution, I guess you could call it, you get two things. You get taxed on the earning for the dollar amount that you pulled, and you also pay a 10% penalty. And it's really become apparent to my husband and I that Maybe college won't be in our kids' future. We want it to be and we will encourage it and we'll always speak like as though that's the expectation. However, if my child decides it's just not in the cards for them, we're not going to force it. And then in that case, does it make sense to put money in an account that we will be penalized for in the future? Or does it make more sense to just put it in an account that can grow? Yeah, we'll pay taxes on that, but then the money will be completely at our disposal. To be perfectly honest with you, I don't know the answer to that question. So our plan now that the duplex is paid off is to put $500 a month to each child's 529 account and not go crazy with it. Put a, that much money for a period of time until we get a better sense on where our children wanna go and what their aptitudes are. And then instead put more money toward our other investment accounts at Vanguard. I will let you know that 529 accounts are state specific 
So ours are currently set up for Colorado. I'll have to do the research to figure out how to switch those to Missouri 529 accounts. But even so, they are still part of the Vanguard investment services. Moving on to baby step four. In this baby step, you should be saving 15% of your income for retirement. My husband and I both do that through our companies. We have automatic payments to our 401ks that come out of our checks before our checks even hit our bank accounts. We do both a Roth 401k and a traditional 401k. The benefit of a Roth 401k is that the investment will grow and you won't have to pay taxes on that because you're using post-tax dollars to invest in that 401k account. So you're paying the tax up front so that as the investment grows, you don't have to pay it later. Traditional 401ks and traditional IRAs or other retirement accounts are pre-tax. And this is important to know because when you start drawing from those accounts in the future, you will have to pay income tax on whatever money you made on those investments. Because of this, we're still doing 15% to those accounts, but we're trying to split it up a little bit so that some of it's going to be post-tax dollars and some of it's going to be pre-tax dollars. We've done it where it's 6% to the traditional 401k because we get dollar for dollar matching by our company um, up to 6%. And then we do 9% to the Roth 401k to start building up that account hopefully we will not have to pay taxes on that when we begin drawing on those accounts now you might say well hey wait a minute you don't have a mortgage and you still tend to live a bit frugally so why are you only doing 15 percent to your 401k and that's a great question the reason we're doing that is because we want to retire early and we know that drawing from 401k or traditional retirement accounts ahead of the age 59 and a half will incur a penalty. So instead of maxing out our 401ks, what we've decided to do is build other investment accounts. We love Vanguard and it's been doing really great for us in terms of returns. I think I read an article once a long time ago that said that Warren Buffett would recommend his wife, should he pass away early, stick her money that is left to her in Vanguard investments that let them like grow at a very conservative rate and she'll be set for the rest of her life and then some. That's kind of our approach too. We put our investments in Vanguards. We don't play the stock market. We just focus on Vanguard. This is where we want to take any money above that 15%. The idea of having this other account is called a bridge account. And for any of you who are part of the FIRE community, which is um, financial independence, retire early, please know that that's gonna be really important. You need to have these bridge accounts to sustain you for the interim during which your 401ks or traditional retirement accounts are unavailable to you. That's not entirely true. They would be available to you, but if you don't wanna pay a penalty, set a bridge account up and start contributing to that consistently as well. So there you have it, guys. That is my baby steps six, five, and four updates. I hope this is interesting to you. I do recommend Dave Ramsey to everyone. If you have not already found his YouTube channel, go check it out. It's phenomenal, tons of content out there, and honestly, it's just fun to listen to. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I love you all, and goodbye.